Welcome, boys and girls, to an all-new episode of the Marvelite Podcast. I'm your host this week, Malik Frierson, bringing you the news of everything Marvel. Joining me today Let's is Will, <laughs> uh, Luke. Hello, folks. And no one else. Now let's get started. <laughs> Our first topic is The Secret Warriors is coming to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Warriors! Uh, yeah, yeah, Warriors. <laughs> so, like, what do you guys think about this? Secret Warriors, S.H.I.E.L.D., Inhumans. Uh, it's It's been teased for a while now. Yeah. I've yeah. been keeping up with this. Uh, Definitely, yeah. I would. I'm just curious to see like what 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 version are they gonna do? Yeah, probably the one where like there is a Secret Warriors with like Daisy Johnson on it, yeah. so probably that one. Well, only like Nick, only like Nick Fury is the leader of it, so it'll just replace Nick Fury with Coulson. So it's just it's gonna be Agents of Shield, but within humans. Oh, okay. okay. So, so based so, on season two, the uncanny Agents of Shield. <clears throat> Yeah, I know. I'm. Uh, what's the dude? Lincoln, the dude who can control electricity. He's been uh, bumped up to a regular, so he's probably gonna be like. Wait, they have their own the static shock. Yeah, yeah, he's just yeah, but he's white, um, so you won't like him. Barry Blight, <laughs> Larry Lightning. <laughs> <laughs> nah, his, well, his name is Lincoln, Lincoln so you're White's close. Up. I wonder. <clears throat> I wonder if uh, Leviathan's going to play a role at all in the Secret the, Warriors wait, story the, arc. The, the monster oh, or character? The the Leviathan. Oh, okay. You mean the the group from Peggy Carter? <clears throat> um. Oh yeah. You know what they they did do that, didn't they? I I want to see. I'm I'm curious to see how that's going to tie in because. There, there was a there was an arc where, um, Hydra and Leviathan had went to war for over something. Oh. Um, I'm tr- I can't think of what it was. You, you know what I would do since like I've been reading like Charles Souls and Human recently. It's a yeah. fantastic book. You people should be reading it. They should they could totally just like pick some of those in there like get lineage and. Um, the Capo and and the lat well not Lash, probably same from the movie and like using like use Enelix, you know and that would be kind of cool. Hmm. Yeah. hmm. <clears throat> now see, um, there was a team I I think of that ran by Alexander Pierce, but uh, he's he's obviously dead in the. Wow. Wow. I don't think Robert yeah. Redford's gonna. I don't think Robert Redford's gonna want to come to TV anyways. So. Um, well, well, what's he doing? Rolling in barrels of money. <laughs> I mean, he's not up to much. Obviously, it's Robert Redford. Yeah. He's not doing much. Being old and... I don't know. He, he, he's being Redford, so just let Redford let, be. Let Redford, Redford be. <clears throat> he kind of looks like an aged Matt Murdock, to be honest. <laughs> he kind of... Seriously? Like, like Charlie well, Cox? May, a tiny or... bit, but just like in general. Um, uh, appa- the, uh, apparently he's supposed to be in a Peach ahead. Dragon remake in 2016. Oh, dear God, why? Why is that a thing <laughs> that we're allowing to happen? Uh, <laughs> Stop this before it uh, breathes. Going back to the, um, uh, the, um, uh, yes, Secret Warriors, this is going to be like our, four- this is going to be like our third or fourth team, because we have the Avengers, we have the Guardians, and we're going to get the Defenders, and now we're getting the Secret Warriors. Yep. Yay. I, I mean, we're going to have the Inhumans, too, shortly. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which the royal it might family. Be, I feel like initially, it might be a mixture of the humans and agents. And then it might... Until they get more members. But if, if I don't, if I don't oh, yeah, hear someone that... yell, Warriors, come out and play, I'm going to be a, I'm gonna be hurt. <laughs> it's, it's not, I know it's not Marvel, but damn it if the line isn't good. They, they did make a line like that in Axis, and Carnage was like, X-Men, come on, <laughs> play! I was like, oh, that's awesome. So they, Cl- so they could do that for all you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Secret Warriors, guys. Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. I know who I hope we get. I want to get freaking Quarterman in Season 3. 
the Secret Wars. Oh, have yeah. Poor Man join. Like, oh, man. He's like, hey, I'm here to help the agents now. Because we got Victoria Hand and Garrett in Season 1. We got Mockingbird Season 2. Season 3, give us Quartermain. Quartermain would be awesome for the show. Can they do... <clears throat> um, does Marvel have the rights to Abigail Brand? Oh, I, I don't... I don't, I don't, we don't, I don't yeah, think we don't know so. I, know, I don't think they own Sword. I think no, I don't it's, think, it's in, no, it's in I, limbo, I think. It's one of those gray hmm. areas that they still have yet to figure out. I know, like, the first, like, the, the first appearance was in X-Men, so, like, it would be cool to see them, but, like, I have very low doubts that we'll see them. I mean, I hope so, because that would certainly open up a lot of doors. I mean... Yeah, I mean oh, you absolutely. The, I mean... You give the Sword, humans a presence in space. Sword was mentioned briefly in the end of yeah. Thor, but that, that scene was taken out <clears throat> due to a, a, apparent rights issues. Whoops. Reasons. Yeah, reasons. R- reasons. <clears throat> Which is really unfortunate. That that was a. I think that was a um, something cool, and <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> I feel like having having another agency other than Shield would definitely be. Oh yeah, it 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 definitely be really cool. That it, I... We do have another agent. We have Hydra. You don't want to be an agent, just go <laughs> be a Nazi. <laughs> if there's not one extreme, it's the other. <laughs> but no, that'd be some interesting competition to see between Sword and Shield freaking on the nose names but it'd be interesting to see just kind of it's kind of like more like we do the job well yeah but we do the job more efficiently but you kill people yeah so but you did not to get too far yeah i like not to get too far off topic but one of the things i am wondering is like who is heading hydra right now because we did see ward well okay but but, everyone's dead but baron zemo He's going to be playing a role here very shortly, yeah. so that leaves me, like I like Ward. Really, he's ahead of Hydra right now. Because he's the only one there. That's well, the only he, I, reason I think, he's I think he's the. I think he's the only one. Like he thinks he's alone. He thinks he's the only one left in Hydra. I, I don't think <clears throat> Hydra is is anywhere from being from being like completely disbanded. Like I think that's a long shot, to say the least. But we know that mm. there's there's still they still have friends like remember we saw the leaders of Hydra get massacred in Agents of Shield season like early in the season they get Damn. decimated like Coulson and his team like literally wiped them out like so like there's really not and plus in then Age of Ultron we see Strucker and List Ooh. get killed so you know not not much is left of Hydra. Yeah. So, Which I mean, yeah, because aren't not to, again not to get too off topic, but I think they're aren't they trying to like get Red Skull back? Like, what are we getting like Neo Hydra? Which <clears throat> why would that be a thing? <clears throat> I don't know that I'm sure Joss mm. and them have a plan for what's going down in the future, but it from this point right now it's not that clear. <laughs> no one knows. <laughs> I guess we'll just have to, you know, wait and see. Wait and see. Hydras, you know, they're hailing. Shield is nowhere to be found. The secret wars. The secret. The secret. (laughs) It's 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 somewhere. This the secret warriors are secreting. You know, we're shield on the ground. Hydra Hmm? gone. (laughs) Dead and gone, as far as we know. (laughs) Oh, they're probably gonna um, fight the Inhumans. Do you think we have potential? That's what it's gonna be: warriors versus Inhumans. <laughs> but, well, well, like, what do you think? You think we'll actually see the Secret Warriors meet the Defenders uh, at some point in the future? They're of the MCU? ground level enough. Are they ground level enough? Would you think? Uh... They they're not they like they're not like Avengers stats where they can just go everywhere and wreck yeah. everything, but they still can like go like Daredevil is, doesn't leave more than Hell's Kitchen yeah, I, and all that. They can just go all over the world. So like they're lower than the Avengers, <clears throat> but like just barely past Daredevil and all them. So like there's a chance they could I think, meet. I'm I think sure. it would be either cool if they did. A threat has to go to like New York and around Hell's Kitchen, or the defenders have to gain notoriety. For Agents of Shield to have to step in, like hmm. something, something has to happen where Pulse one has like, to go to the other for help. I, I I I would say I would say Iron Fist would be the one to do that. Yeah, really. 
Yeah, because it, it's going to be dealing with more supernatural stuff. I definitely think that <clears throat> if if anything, Iron Fist will be the one to bring those two get together. Those, I was thinking maybe get Luke those Marvel Cage. lights in there. Because Luke Cage, that he does. Do you think like they'll move Luke Cage up to like Avenger status? Uh, that's a good question. It's, it's a, a possibility. I mean, he's he's been a member for a while. I think Daredevil yeah. might get it first. I don't know why. Just... I guess it depends. Because he has like no, he 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 came first. Yeah. People like him a lot right now. Like, oh, put him in the Avengers. Yeah. You tell Black Widow, we don't need you no more. <laughs> we got a new Black. <laughs> he can... He, he... Oh, ouch. Wow. He does what you... He does what you do, but he's... I meant Daredevil, but okay. <laughs> we got the black and red. It's like you, but with a dick. Aw. <laughs> <laughs> There's our title. It's like you, but with a dick. <laughs> Boom. Boom. <laughs> Um, what was I about to say? Um, yeah, Secret Warriors. We're excited, you know. Ex- as, yeah. as soon as season two goes up on Netflix, humans, I'll start watching. It's on. It's Wait, on it Netflix. Is? <clears throat> yeah, yeah it is. season two. Got... You haven't seen season two? No, yet? I, I waited. Season two is so oh, good. It, it's definitely a, a step up from yeah. season one. You need um, to go watch like, it. Like, I love season one, but I'll admit, season two is, like, way better like, than season one. As soon one. as we end this episode, you need to start watching it's, it. I'll yeah, be like, I'll watch now. No, I'll, Mocking... Well, not right now. He, we're, well, I we're know, recording but I'm right just now. saying, I'll be, like, splitting my eyes between yeah. Game of Thrones and that and several other shows. It's going to be a mess. Uh, that's, yeah, this that's is a, a hard whole show. different oh, yeah. podcast yeah. and conversation. <laughs> M- Mockingbird shows up. Mr. Hyde shows up. It's Woo-hoo. all really good. Kill Nazis. It is really good. Woohoo! Kill. Yeah, and there's they not... kill a lot of Nazis. Yeah, there's a lot of Woo-hoo, Nazis. Kill playing. Nazis. And, and there's and there's like really no filler episodes. Like each episode's important and oh, setting thank up God. something. Oh, one like there's <clears throat> one thing I did want to mention about uh, Agents of Sealed too. I think there was a rumor that they might be they might be going down to only thirteen episodes per season you love oh, good. I, it I, me. that but see that that doesn't scare me that i just want more like no don't cut down no i love my 20 well, something episodes well hear me out I, I i think the reasoning behind this is when you when you do 13 episodes there's there's less room for filler you're able to tell a straight narrative and you're able to have more budget that way so well they basically so they basically was that being two. said <laughs> with a shorter season could po- potentially become better material for the show not a certain, mm. not saying that that happens all the time but i'm saying that that's the potential for it by cutting it down to only 13 episodes yeah they're yeah. doubling basically your point. <laughs> shorter and better make yeah. you want more well daredevil had like daredevil had like 60 minute episodes so oh. their episodes are freaking 60 yeah, minutes 45 <laughs> close enough yeah. uh what's our next topic uh okay um coming off guard here uh daredevil is blind when you're blind you see black things speaking of black things damn black it. panther oh dang i just realized how racist that stuff yeah, you, Spe- you 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 pulled a will <laughs> yeah that was wow that was bad <clears throat> okay yeah black panther my begins director in the form of ava duvarney yay well however you say her name the director of the I'm, selma movie i'm hella yeah yay I'm indeed hella. Because I, I wanted her to be the director since the rumor. Well, I, Definitely. I saw oh, Selma, really? coo, coo. and that sold me. I, I watched it back during Easter, and I'm so just like, like, okay, um, yeah, <laughs> black historical figure, I, I trust her. Wait, 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 so what are the odds that an actor who has played two historical African-American characters gets to be in a movie of an influential African-American superhero directed by the woman who directed an influential African-American um, I mean, person to direct this movie. Like, the I odds mean, are insane. Wasn't good she, on you, Marvel. Wasn't she courted at one time to actually, uh... Yeah, wasn't she courted at one time to be directing Captain Marvel? Go for it. <laughs> uh, I think like, so. She, yeah, she, she was being eyed Not for sure. it. I mean, if along she, with Angelina Jolie. If she does both, good on her. Though there's some solid paychecks she's about to make. But she's a she seems yeah, like a yeah. pretty competent director and writer from what I've seen from her like talent. 
I actually want to watch more of her stuff just to be safe. <clears throat> uh, well, she's done she a done? lot of documentaries and a couple of indie films, which I've heard. I mean, based okay. off her like IMDb, they've won awards and got noticed, so she's not bad. There's, there's a, there's... Uh, yeah, I'm excited. I mean, everyone's Game out. Of CS does everyone's all... outsourcing um... the indie directors now. <laughs> Uh, what do you guys think, like, this movie's gonna be like with her? Like, what's the story and all that? Because, like, remember, this is in between the two Avengers uh, movies. So, it might so it might be dealing with the fall of Infinity War Part 1. We know Klaus to come back, Andy Serkis, yay. If they did kind of a mixture of his um, origin story that they did in... Uh... Okay, there's a, there's a Black Panther run by Reginald Pudlin, which I would highly recommend anyone get. You can get it in trade. I got it for like five bucks at a convention. It was, it has jumped its way up to my favorite comic recently, just because of its writing and how it handles the character. Aside from the fact that Black Panther is OP all to fuck, but it's just, it's just so well written and accurately re- represents how badass he is and how cool Wakanda is. Su- supremacist Will is not happy that a black man's OP. I think, oh no, I, I, I love black the fact Panther that he's OP. Is... It's hilarious to me. Nah. Like, e- not, not even a, Wakanda's like, OP. No, no, for real. He... Yeah. <laughs> like, you... If like pay, if you pay attention to the character, he's, like, he's so underrated. He has an intelligence and an intellect beyond any other. Yeah. Seriously. Like, he made his own he's science. He's so smart, and he's so... In... No, <laughs> if, no, exactly. Like, Wakanda is a very advanced nation. Yeah. It's one of the most advanced nations in the Marvel Universe. Like, <clears throat> I, I think that the movie is going to pleasantly surprise us, and I really hope that they bring out T'Challa's yeah. intellect uh, in the movie, and and you know, be able be able to show to show that on screen. I, I think that's what that character needs, and it's what he deserves. Yeah, I, I hope we get kind of like uh, no, go ahead. Good. I hope we get kind of like a little bit of an Illuminati team. That'd be fun. Like, hey, yo, Stark, you want to form a secret group? I think, I love I think the by Illuminati. the time Infinity War Part 2 is done, I think that there will be a new form. Or that there will be a form. They, they might Illuminati. imply it in Civil War. Yeah, that would be awesome. Because of the rumor that he's going to be at least talking with Stark a little bit. And, yeah. yeah. Isn't he like fighting Captain? I mean, or, or, yeah, which, which happened in the run, and he whooped his ass. Threw him down a hole. He jumped out the hole and threw him <laughs> back down in the hole. <laughs> Take that, I, America. I, I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing a flashback yeah. sequence like they did in the comic mm. where Cap is in Wakanda. Because you could easily shoehorn that in there somewhere. Hmm. Maybe he just forgot in all those years in the iceberg. But to hmm. have that fight again between, like, T'Chaka and Cap <laughs> just throws him down a hole. <laughs> did you- D, could you see, like, the government being, like, kind of, like, you know, pissed at Panther? Like, hey, yo, your metal was used to kind of, like, lift the city and almost destroy the world. We need to take that stuff from you, you That'd be a good subplot. That's got... Yeah, that's got, like, play heavily. Like, the people of the world obviously want more vibranium. Panther's like, no, you can't have it, because it's mine. I almost want him to be comic book accurate, but that would basically mean the minute Fano steps ground on here, he's just going to snap his neck from the shadows. Like, the fight... Nah. Like, Infinity War would be two seconds. He'd just jump on his back, the fight would be over. Mm. Oh, man. But I'm... I'm hyped. Like All that. I need now is, uh... Kerry Washington to play Shuri, and I'm sold. <laughs> I'll buy two tickets. <laughs> Do you think I we'll get so. Shuri? Like, do you think... We'll- I think we'll get her in like her outfit, her her own suit. She'll she, see her. They'll suit probably do a that. Terrence Howard and Iron Man one. She'll look at the suit and say, "Next time." <laughs> nah, we we've been pitching next time, yeah. baby, a lot. I said that with Wasp yeah, for Ant Man. Basically, any important female Marvel character who had the limelight for a little bit in like a comic book run, but isn't that well known in the mainstream, she gets a next time, baby. That's what she gets. We get the Wasp, yeah. Shuri. Probably Pepper Potts with the rescue armor. That's that's where all those are going. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> those all get next time, babies. Except for Good. until Captain Marvel comes out. Speaking of babies, Tom Holland is our Spider-Man. And he's my age, which makes me feel sad. 
<laughs> I yeah, could be Spider-Man. If I was white, <laughs> according to the according to those emails. <laughs> Give it a couple of years, Marvel will be like, hey, you want to be Miles Morales? Uh, yes. Is that a question? <laughs> the question <laughs> is not how. The question is when. When do we f- start filming and when does my fitness training begin? <laughs> <laughs> but guys, we got our yeah, Spider-Man I'm, though. Got excited. Uh, Luke, you want to go ahead on this one? Mm, I can't believe it's not Butterfield. Uh-huh. 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 You know, honestly, I I was actually expecting Asa to to know yeah. this. I'm Same. I'm, Same actually, here. I'm surprised. Um, <clears throat> I I really know nothing about Tom Holland. Um, I'm I've definitely Same been, here. I've definitely been uh, reading into him though. But I trust Marvel in their decision. Um, they definitely, obviously, saw something in him, and the director that they also hired, as well. He's he's sort of an up and coming director who hasn't done a whole lot yet. But obviously, they see something in both of them. So I definitely trust it. I always, I'm always like, man, when I hear stuff like this, and I'm like, oh, I don't know. And then like when the movie comes out, I'm like, I'm completely blown away. And I'm like, okay, I take back everything I ever said negative about this. Yeah. I was just like, you see, like, I was, oh, I forgot my point. Someone yeah. else go, uh, I well, forgot my point. Go. I'm, I'm reserving <laughs> any judgment on the actor, because I don't really know anything about him, or the director, until I see, one, a suit, and two, um, like any sort of footage, be it in Civil War or like a trailer down the road, because I I can't sit because like I even remember back for Andrew Garfield when I ser- first saw the promo image of him back in like 2010, I'm like, oh, the suit is ugly. I don't know who this guy is. He's probably gonna suck. And then I fell in, and then the first Amazing Spider-Man became my favorite Spider-Man out of all of them. That, that's my opinion. I never said it. It was the best. It's just my Seriously? favorite one. It it spoke to me at that time. It, it, well, I was in the I was in the age group. Then, then your hopes, but then your hopes were yeah, crushed. And then, by the next and then movie. Amazing Spider-Man two happened, and I got depressed. <laughs> like, like, it was like, like oh, be, it was like being oh. on cloud nine and then falling into hell. Like it, it was rough. <laughs> but, but yeah, so I'm I'm gonna wait it out. I don't know anything about the guy or the actor, so like you know. I'll I'll reserve judgment. I have no I have no opinion you, on it right now. I'm like I'm just glad they cast him. Yeah, I, you know how you know how I knew he was perfect as Spider Man. When I saw his face, I instantly wanted to push him, take his lunch money, <laughs> and throw him in the trash can. I'm like, oh, he is he he is Spider Man. Yeah, he is Beyonce Peter for Parker. Mary Jane 2017. He looks like he'd be bullied. Since she couldn't make it as Peter Parker. Oh. You know, I. I, I <laughs> I, I saw someone on the internet, well, not just one person, I saw a lot of people on the internet saying, like, man, he doesn't look like Peter Parker, he looks like a nerd, and I'm like, good, good. good. he has a punchable face. He's supposed, <laughs> to look like, he's supposed to look like this, the, the, you know, this sort of nerdy, scrawny kid who doesn't fit in, that's that what that's who Peter Parker yeah. is, he doesn't, he's not supposed to be this, like, oh, you know, my, my shiny Twilight hair, you know, I... I know not not to bash you know Andrew Garfield you know it wasn't his fault I, I feel like Andrew Garfield did a good job and I think that Sony was close yeah. with this they, with the they were with, these, uh, with the Amazing Spider-Man one and two yeah. they were closer and I feel like two the Amazing Spider-Man two visually I thought it was really well done like the the physics and the way that everything moved like the way that that Spider-Man moved and swung. I thought was was damn yeah. near perfect. I, I feel like they almost nailed that like if, right if, on the head. I I think that I I still think Marvel can do it better though. Yeah. <laughs> is, is if, there any if I have to like... give two any compliments, the suit was better, the swinging was better, and it was brighter at least. I mean, granted, for every good thing that movie had, there were two things that made it bad. But you know, it we yeah. we we all make yeah. like I think Tobey Maguire got the nerd. Andrew Garfield got the snark. If Tom Holland can get both and more, uh, he's good. He's fine. We, he he need he needs to go learn from the Josh Keaton. Like, tell me how you did. We're so perfect. Yeah. <laughs> How'd you do it, Josh? I just like, became the Spider Bro. Spider Bro. That's what I'm gonna do. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Spider Man with a backwards cap, looking like a douchebag, and a pop collar somehow through all the suit. <laughs> Just sewn in. Who could you? Who can you see? 
Like, who can you see, like, being a villain or someone Shocker. fighting this kid, you know? Because... Let's go street really, level. Really? Shocker? I say street oh, yeah, level. definitely. Start with Shocker, work your see, way up. See, I say Shocker... I shocker... Um... Like, 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 right now, like... I don't think I don't think it's a good idea to do Lizard or Green Goblin right off. Hell the no! We've seen those two villains already. <laughs> we've had already. three goblins. We we've seen the or, Goblin. Every every Goblin I've seen on screen has just been atrocious, and it makes me want to puke in my yeah. mouth. So let's let's, lay off the let's stay away from those, and even Electro. Let's just let's yeah let's just stay away from those you for can, a while. You can I, bring in the eye forms, say, keep those goblins out of my damn movie. <laughs> now a lot now like. Every time I bring up Mysterio, everyone is like, "No, that can't be done on Why screen." Why not? <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> well, yeah, bullshit. <laughs> it, it it can be done on screen. However, I don't think Mysterio is a good first choice to go with for the movie. I feel like I feel like a, a maybe a combination of like Shocker, possibly Chameleon, um, Vulture. Actually, I would love to see Adrian Toomes on screen. Um, you know who I want to see? Who I want for this movie? Craven the freaking hunter. Get want, him in yeah. there. I want that I for want like a sequel or good. a last film in like a trilogy. That's what I because I did want you guys, him to did, be established first, and then you get that hunt, and it will be dark and fun. Duh. Did you? Jeez, yeah, dark and fun. <laughs> did you guys ever read those Sony uh, leaked emails? They were talking about doing Craven's last hunt. And they were going to make Peter Parker, like, in his 30s with a wife and kid. Oh, yes. And that, and then it was it was going to be like a send-off, sort of, to Spider-Man. And I'm like, I, I don't know. I, I don't think I would have wanted that. I mean, hmm. here's, if I have any complaint, um, and it's a complaint that I've seen from a couple other people, is that I am, I guess because we've been around to see Peter Parker, like, comic books, animation, and movies, we've all seen him in high school. I want to see grown-up Peter Parker from the bat, and I don't mean like I don't mean like starts in high school and then graduates. I mean, or like fully married adult, but like that interim age where it's shitty and awkward, kind of like we are now, <laughs> like that co- that college age Peter well, Parker. Right. Well, what? Well, when they've done high school Peter Parker, they don't really go into the yeah. high school side of you know being Spider Man. I think, of course, like, not. they always just like kind of focus on like being Spider Man, love interest, Spider Man, love interest. That's mainly like what they like the focus of all the movies have been. I think Marvel will like get it right the high school drama, and they like like you watch Spectacular yeah. Spider Man. He actually does deal with like quite a bit of high school drama, and it's actually handled pretty well. I think like Marvel's gonna you know take that route, you know, handle it well and all that. Yeah, it's- uh, but I am, I do, I do kind of want to see, pe- I guess it's just, I've, I've seen him in high school so much for so long. I, and since we grow up with the <laughs> character, I kind of want to see him grow up with me. So I guess it's my just childhood nostalgia to be like, come <laughs> with me, Peter. I won't leave you in the past, in the dark. <laughs> you don't have to stay there. So I put, a, I put a message in the <laughs> chat of, uh, I happen to find... Apparently, someone stalked his Instagram yeah. and found photos of him doing acrobatics. So, he has the physicality. How, how? Oh, this was from like five days ago yeah. too. So, okay, so I can be the so, Spider-Man. So, I wonder if he's already been practicing then. So, guys, guys. So, I'm just imagining drunken um, Andrew Garfield. This is hanging outside Holland's house. Like, <laughs> you still you the legacy. That's <laughs> gonna be spray, <laughs> man. <laughs> Throwing bottles at his he door has on, like, and everything. a shitty pajama <laughs> like, spider <yeah>. suit. <laughs> it's all pee standing and everything. <laughs> this is my dream. <laughs> Tom Holland's parents oh, come out with a broom. And they're, all, they're both English, so. Might live near each other. <laughs> Get out of here, you bum! No, no. Let him talk. <laughs> Let him speak. <laughs> is it, what do you have <laughs> to say, stranger? <laughs> I was Spider-Man first! <laughs> You can't take that away from me. <laughs> that's the image, just drunken, angry, just sad that, Andrew Garfield. With it's a that smiling picture of Tom him Holland. weeping over like Gwen Stacy's body and just Tom Holland smiling up at him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am become you now. Oh my God, superior Tom Holland. <laughs> I think I just yes. came up with the title. Oh. <laughs> 
Yes. <laughs> superior Tom Holland. Yes. So much. There's yes. Just a, there's just an <laughs> evil grinning Tom Holland on Superior's body, like holding the dead body of Peter Drew Parker. <laughs> <laughs> this this is gold right here. This is gold. Um. Now, as far as love interests, do you think they'll go Mary Jane again, Gwen Stacy, or or maybe like give us yeah, something new like give, Liz let's Allen? Let's give Liz Allen a chance because she was there for like two minutes in the first one. Liz Allen is a bitch. She, oh no, she is. Ouch. She totally is though. She's Ouch. So spectacular. She was. Oh no, let's yeah, let's give them the uh, or if anything, maybe they'll do uh, uh, Carly. That'd be a ballsy move. Like they go, they go straight out of left field. They give us Carly, or they give us the who the Hispanic or whatever she was chick from Spectacular that he dated before, like Gwen and Mary Jane. Yeah, I don't remember. I know you're talking about. Um, they could just do Felicia Harding too. I'm so ready for Felicia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I am you know too, what? and it's really sad that they kind of they kind of teased her in the Amazing Spider-Man yeah, too, and it, went, it never yeah. went anywhere. That entire it didn't, franchise didn't go anywhere. That's a damn shame. No, no, and, and the fact because it could have. You even look in the credits. You even look in the credits. The Amazing Spider-Man two. It doesn't even say Felicia Hardy. It just says Felicia. Yeah, w- yeah with I'm no like, last what? name. <laughs> like they didn't decide. <laughs> e- even after it wrapped. No, like, that, uh, it's just call it Felicia. Sony Sony wasn't sure. Sony wasn't sure what they wanted to do. They were like, do we just keep her as this chick Felicia? Or do we twist this somehow into future films as Felicia Hardy? They wasn't sure. By the time the movie came out, so they're like, oh, we'll just keep her as Felicia for now. I think I think they made it so, Felicia guys, Hardy. Guys, you know what they gotta do, right? Too. Yeah. Guys, guys, you know what they gotta do, right? So they they cast Felicia Hardy, make her less attractive than Agent Carter, and then you put the next year, you can go. Bye, Felicia. Hey, Damn Miss it. Carter. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Beyonce swings in out of nowhere. <laughs> Who said Miss Carter? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Beyonce is Spider-Woman, Agent of Sword. I will watch that film. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm fighting for her to be in, in some sort of spider film. I don't care who she is. Someone someone said recently uh, something about her playing Death. Oh, oh, I wouldn't be. Really? Death? Death. Death. You know, yeah. she would be the one. If and if if Thanos is going to be seduced by anything, it might as well be fucking Beyonce. <laughs> Thanos, yeah. Thanos loves the Beyonce. I, I love that drunken love. It, it... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Just ima- imagining Thanos in his chair, like, swaying back and forth to Beyonce. Like, huh, slay it, Queen Bee. <laughs> Stunt on those hoes. <laughs> one of the one of the underlings knocks in. Thanos he like cuts it off like ah get the fuck out get out of here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Thanos private time. He just puts on the gauntlet and watches Beyonce videos. One day, my Jesus sweet. <laughs> Call it now. Beyonce is death. He's just Thanos and all the single ladies. He's just watching to the left like a million times. <laughs> he's just completely obsessed with her. Thanos he ha- and Beyonce he has on like a... forever. It turns out in the Marvel universe that that Beyonce is actually Death. <clears throat> it, 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 it all makes like sense. like Death like Death's persona is just Beyonce Knowles. I mean, <laughs> come on now, would you be surprised if if, if <laughs> they say Death is beautiful? But damn it, if Death I didn't know Death was sexy too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, Spider Man, guys! Oh, we didn't even really talk about the director, though, did we? Unless we named John Watts, him? right? Yeah. He he directed. He's, he did a clown movie. I know <laughs> okay, that much. Okay, okay, okay. One thing I have to say about him he he's connected to to the Onion. I don't know if you guys have ever. I don't know if you guys oh, have ever been on the great. Onion. Yeah, before. the Onion is great. But I watched. It's I'll, a. I'll, I'll, it, I watched that Zach Galifianakis <laughs> some uh, skit with Obama. It's a it's a fake news website yeah. and they and they write fake articles and do fake news videos and it's hilarious sometimes they make them sound really believable too um but yeah john Watts i know has, has has worked with the onion before i'm not sure what all he's done with them but um <laughs> like i said marvel definitely had to have seen something in him 
Yeah. Hmm. Actually, here's a question. Excited. What do you think the title is going to be? Spectacular Spider-Man or Get Out? Uh, it's um, gotta be they might just. What if they just call I, it The Spider? -Man? The Spider-Man. The as, Spider -Man. as opposed to a Spider-Man, um, <laughs> and then down the road you'll get a Spider-Man, <laughs> like Miles Morales, a Spider-Man, <laughs> starred me. <laughs> <laughs> You you have no shortage. You can do sensational, spectacular, phenomenal, Fantastic. superior, ultimate, <laughs> the superior. <laughs> Just a mess with people. <laughs> the, the marvelous Spider Man. Oh my God! I mean, it's not the first time that they've taken they they've taken a title name from a comic book and you know translated yeah. it into a the movie incredible. title. And it has nothing cough, to cough, do, nothing to do with the 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 arc from the yeah. comic. It's just the same. All right, thing. so let's see. <laughs> they'll call it they call it Spider Man Clone Saga. It has nothing to do with clones. <laughs> they're just oh, they just happen to be like scare a kid in school. <laughs> there happen to be some twins in school named Ben and Kane Riley. <laughs> Who are those? And they just die in a fire. Like that's it off screen. <laughs> oh no! The shocker is attacking. They're the first ones to get like blown over into a bridge. Just like oh okay well. <laughs> You know what I you know what I kinda wanna see for the Spider-Man movie? He bites off more than he can chew in the beginning when he first gets his powers and like he su and so like, he gets like beat badly. Like, like say like let's say like hypothetically let's say let, not like that, but like let's say like let's say Kingpin breaks out, right? And he's like reestablishing power. And Spider-Man's like, Oh my god, if I can catch Kingpin, me they're gonna like me. And Kingpin just like Rex Spider Man. Spider Man's like, all right, let's play on easy <laughs> Wait, mode for a little bit. Yeah, what? Well, I mean that that happened in that um, comic, but that's also a good title. <clears throat> yeah. I was gonna say one thing I definitely want to see from this new from this new Spider Man is, I don't want him, I don't want to see him, be be this um, Avenger level no. hero for yeah. for a long time, because we've in in every Spider Man movie we've seen Spider Man get his powers, and then all of a sudden, like, a day later, he's doing, like, these, these like, crazy, like, triple backflip spin kicks. Like, it, it, it's a little ridiculous. Like, I, I want to see, you know, the anticipation build up, and I want to see him grow into a hero, not just become one overnight because of a spider bite. I want to see him, you know, learn learn to use it. <laughs> and I, I want him to... To, to struggle to struggle with the responsibility of having the power not not to be cliche here but <clears throat> I you know I definitely want to see that happen I, I want it to move at a slower pace than what the than what the other movies have had um, definitely with a lot of action and a lot of levity and fun but I I just I want to see Peter you know grow into the hero I I, tr I trust hmm. Marvel would be able to do something like that but I I completely agree because since we're going back to school, it has to interfere with his studies. There's no way that it won't. Because he'll just come back one night, like, crawl into his room, have the shit beaten out of him, like, try to slump into bed, and then the <laughs> alarm goes off. And just, you, you yeah. just see him, his eyes open, they're bloodshot, and you just see his face go, damn it. The next thing you know, Parker, your grades are slipping. You used to be at the top of the class. What happened? Flash is starting to pick on him, and he just has that one moment where he snaps. Flash, let's go. He just tells him, let's go to <laughs> Afghanistan. <laughs> he, just, he just snaps and just throws him into a locker. You just see Flash, like, in the principal's office in a sling with two black eyes. It's like, what? Parker, you're suspended. <laughs> Aunt May starts freaking out. Your grades are slipping. You're fighting kids in school. What's happening? Like, that struggle. Yeah, oh, oh absolutely. Yeah. You think you think we'll see like shots of like oh uh, when I was in the Battle of New York I took pictures of the aliens like you know that it'll cool? be on his phone. He has, like, like, an oh, he has like a selfie with his friends. Me and Harry in the Battle of New York selfie. <laughs> hey Leviathan. <laughs> Hashtag Leviathan. Hashtag Battle of NY. <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> Iron Man in the back. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I totally saw Daredevil. You see a red yeah. blur on a rooftop. You know, <laughs> I, one thing, one thing real quick too. I, I'm also wondering is is um, 
how they're going to have Harry play into this new Spider-Man. I, I, I hope, nice I hope it's nothing like any of the Harrys that we've gotten before. I mean, I like the... Because, <laughs> oh my god. Oh my I God. like Dane DeHaan, but they Dane. they did not have enough time, nor did they introduce him in the first movie. Which their chemistry was great for all of the five minutes that they had it. Yeah, I like Dane DeHaan, but but I I refer to him as the sick actor. <laughs> he, he's a good actor, but he but he always looks he sick. Does. Like... And, which he is in both in Chronicle and that in any other <clears throat> film. I think all of his characters yeah. who spin it are sick or dying or beaten. Like, abused, either physically or verbally. Mental. Like, they don't have good lives. Fully. Is it weird that Harry looked more like Peter yeah. than Peter did in that movie? Tasman 2, I mean. Isn't that the question of the day? <laughs> I would legit just, like, switch roles. Uh, that line that didn't make it in. All, that entire all, movie that didn't make it in. All the trailers, the none of the film. <laughs> nah. Yeah, but... Yeah, Spider Man guys. Whip, 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 whip well. people. Basically, spectacular. That's all you gotta do. Just look at that show. Call up Josh Keaton if you need some advice. Ask, uh. <laughs> you know. Greg yeah. Wiseman, like, yo, how well, do you do that? I mean, just like all my other good shows, made it to two seasons and got canceled. Yeah. <laughs> Get 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 a photo of Beyonce giving Thanos an Infinity yes. Lap dance. Can... <laughs> the infinity, <laughs> infinity dance. Uh. <clears throat> I you know what? Just I like just r- real quick. I another thing I'm curious about um, a rights issue with Marvel is I, do do they have the rights to the Watchers? Uh. The, watch- I don't the Watchers. Love. I, I would love to see the Watchers in the cinematic universe. I don't know if they have the rights to them or not. I don't know if they are belong to another studio or if it's in one of those gray areas. I have no idea. Um, but I think having Uatu in the cinematic universe, um, he could play a, a pretty cru- crucial role. I mean, he, he could already be there in, in the background somewhere. Um but we don't know. No one knows. There's been yeah. no word on it. You know, Kevin Feige or no one from Marvel Studios had has co- uh, commented on it or said anything. His first <laughs> appearance was in Fantastic uh, Four, well, so it was I would a cartoon, doubt it. But yeah, still, I don't know. No, in, in oh, an really? actual comic, number oh, thirteen. Whoops, <laughs> like, you right? Yeah, 1963, number thirteen. You got the juice. <laughs> you good? Yeah. But all right, guys, we've, we're at the 42-minute mark. You, you guys want to sign off now? Any closing thoughts on Spider-Man? Um, thwip, thwip, bitches. <laughs> uh, yeah. Luke? Oh, um, also, um, with his new suit, I hope we get more of a classic suit. I know that a lot of people hate it, but I do want to see the little, the, the little web wings. Hmm. That, that he really? has. No, I'm serious. I think going with more of a classic look like that would be really cool. I never I like the web wings. I oh, think. I, go ahead. I think they could they could make it work. They could make it work. I tolerated them in the spectacular, but Actually, never. Yeah, liked one last the thing. Wings. You think we're getting organic or made? Oh God, I think no. we're getting. No, Am I the no only one who liked no, organic? Don't do organic. I, I like organic. Really? I hated organic. I I love I organic. It. That it, dude, if if Sony if Sony if Sony got one thing right, it was doing those web shooters. True. Seriously, I I well, I cannot stand the organic ones. Like the web shooters are so cool, and that that seriously that that's a big part of his suit. Well, yeah, because he's a genius. You know. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, and that's another thing too. Just on on my closing thought on Spider Man, another thing that they need to bring out is his intelligence. Yes. If they do not bring out his intelligence, it is not it's not Peter Parker. Seriously, they need to show his intellect and his intelligence and his smarts. You know, both his, his street smarts and his and his book smarts. But <laughs> Tony Stark would be like, "I like your smarts." Sony, kid. so Sony got that a little better than they did with the first trilogy because the first trilogy failed at that really badly. They got the nerdy part down and the outcast part. They did not get his smarts down at all. They implied it a few different times. But they really did not put emphasis on it at all. So they didn't do. They didn't do it in the second um, 
They, they two didn't. movies. But, I mean, what, <clears throat> sort of a, a, a little more. They did a little more, not too much more. I mean, there's like they saw, like you saw Peter working on an algorithm. <laughs> Neat. I mean, that was cool and everything. You know, it, it showed him. You know, he he knows how to do his research, but you know, and and, and invent things. But that is just something they really need to bring out in Peter. They it, like the character desperately needs it. There's. There's a reason Peter Parker hmm. got bullied. It's yes. not just because his fashion style sucked. Which is <laughs> true, but still. Well, I thought this... Yeah, dr- dress him like a modern dork, not like a hipster. Even though I love Andrew Garfield, he did... Yeah. Look- hipster does not equate to nerd. You'll get picked on because you're a hipster and no one likes you. Because that's... No one likes hipsters. You know how regular <laughs> nerds dress? Like us. <laughs> Com- I need him in, like, basketball <laughs> shorts and an Avengers tee. Getting just getting A pluses Dude, on yeah. all of his death. Yeah, an Avengers shirt, glasses, yes. and some jeans. That's how Peter Parker's gonna dress. Uh, uh, you guys ready to yeah. sign off? Yeah, we can do that. All right, see you, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed this new episode of the Marvelite Podcast. I am your host with an iron fist this week, Malik, and you know. Do you guys want to say goodbye? I'm Will. Uh, I should be Miles Morales down the road. Just saying. No, you shouldn't. (laughs) Shut up. (laughs) Crush Will's dreams, people. Tell him no in the comments. (laughs) Well, uh, thanks, folks, for listening. And uh, don't forget to head over to Facebook and give Hybrid Network a like and head on over to YouTube and give Hybrid Network a subscribe. And tell your friends. Tell your so, family. All right. Tell your fans. Tell everyone. Actually, tell, tell advertisers too, so just, we can just, make money. Just tell the whole world. This. I mean, or um, <laughs> yeah, we're we're not sponsored yet. So this is this is all brought to you by us. By free, the best of prices. We stay up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. See ya.